Hi guys, it is time again for another great design and we are going to do some Christmas mix match. So a little bit of everything because I couldn't have side, I wanted to show you as many different options as possible. But I have a wee preview of this set in here. Yeah, so a tartan Christmas presents, a jumper and also a candy as well, like all in one, um, just to give you a uh, different um, type of ideas. And I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe as there is lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays. But also just uh, before the Christmas, we are trying to produce even more videos for you just to keep you busy and occupied and ready for uh, this amazing time of the year. So let's start. On this set we are going to do a little bit of everything. Uh, so I will start with, uh, so we've got the thumb ready, then we're going for an index finger. And since it's white, so normally I would probably paint it red and then, or maybe just do it the proper way. Okay, so I'm going to use 174 red and just paint this one red. And actually I was supposed to try it in a one coat and that's what I'm going to do it. So try it in the one coat. Yeah, okay, let's see how it will cure, if it's going to behave. Because uh, obviously, the thicker we apply the product, the more difficult it might be to cure. On this one, I'm going to go straight away lazy way. Uh, because it's painted white, uh, I'm just going to top coat it with the shiny top coat or matte. Gosh, I'm so in matte mood. No, let's do shiny. We have to do shiny. So I'm just applying shiny top coat. So basically, I would just paint it to white the entire chip. And then apply top coat over it. And then give it a cure. Then we've got ring finger. So ring finger is going to be the checkered look, the exactly same one like we done it on the thumb, which is actually fun to create. So again, I'm going to try it in a one go. Actually, I will check it first of all, how the other one cured it first. And it's a good way to check it because then I will know if I can do it in a salon on the clients as well. So let me check. Okay, it didn't wrinkle, so I can just cook it in like this. <laughs> and then on this one, we are going to do something in white as well. So I'm just going to apply those shiny top coat. And then cook it in. Okay, on my mixing uh, palette, I've got the foil design gel as a black and paint on French gel as a white. We're also going to need some top coat. So what I'm doing is I'm putting those top coat where my black is. And I'm going to start mixing this top coat with my black. I want to get a very sheer black, like nice and sheer. 
see through black and then using the bigger brush we are going to start painting the check was it this one i think so no that's yes that's the one for a check So first of all, I'm just dipping in my brush in those see-through black. And I'm going to paint it very thick line. You have to kind of really work it through it. And then paint another one. So it's a very see-through black. And then give it a cure. I'm going to clean my brush really well because now we want to use some white. Okay, so clean my brush, pick up some white, clean it again. And then we are going to paint candy. Okay. I really like it when it goes up the angle, not too straight. And then the last one. Doesn't look nice yet. Okay, so after I have created those big lines, now I'm swapping to the small brush and I'm just going to perfect them. And then once I'm happy with those first lines, I'm going to cure them. In the meantime, let's go back to our uh, to our check it meal. So clean my brush again. And now we are going to do the lines opposite way. See what's happened? My brush had some white in there. So again, I pick up the black. And 
It's definitely a time-consuming design, but I think it looks so pretty. And even if you could do it on a one meal for a client, like I'm sure they will be really happy with it. Again, work it through my black. Did you have the t-shirt like this? Not t-shirt, but a shirt like this. I had it when I was young. Check it shirt. And it was actually those black and red. Like I'm making sure they are squares. Okay, then the next one. And start in the middle, like so you've got some room for improvement from the each each side. That's the easiest way to do it. Because then I know how far I need to go. And the last one. It looks nice just like this as well, like uh, I will do some black outline to it as well. But you can see it on the places where we have put black twice, it gets darker. So you not necessarily have to touch it up. Obviously I will. Or maybe I wouldn't. No, I will. I will do it just exactly the same, like more complicated way. Okay, the candy one. So I'm going into my white bra uh, my D-liner brush again and into my white. And now I'm going to hold my breath because we want to add some much thinner lines. Too much coffee. Okay, another one. And the last one. Okay, then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to cook it. Actually, we'll touch up the top one. This so is nice and pretty. Okay, let's go back to black. So now I'm just picking up the black. So clean my brush and pick up black and I'm going to color in those squares. I'm not going to be too fussy because we will cover some of it with the snowflakes. So like any places which are imperfect, you can just cover it. and. Uh, this is a good tip guys for you as well, like when I'm doing some designs, sometimes I have no room for mistake. Like I have to be really precise and uh, have to think what I'm doing, paint it nice and slow because I cannot hide it later on. Sometimes we are painting some stuff as a background and that's the case of this uh, checkered design, like this is a background. So I'm not too fussy, there is an empty space and it is not uh, perfectly covered with the gel. Uh, because we are going to slap some snowflakes over there and this is going to hide those imperfections. 
And so this is a tip for you. And that gives you a lot of time saver. Like, you can see it, that's pretty. I can talk, I can, like, I really don't care how I paint them. And then give them a cook. What else? Oh, we've got those ones. Yay! Okay, so here we are going to paint some jumpers. So plenty paint on French gel. And this is the easiest jumper to paint. I mean, at least for me, the number fours. That's my favorite one. The one which I use a lot in a salon. The only hardest part about it is that you need to keep it in line. So like this one starts there. Number four, and then you go down where the other line is. I mean, definitely on a client with the shorter nails, it will take much less time. Okay, then on the sides. Some line. Next line. And then something on the side, so we are going to do another lines. You could do also dots or whatever you find it quick and easy. Okay, clean the brush and then sprinkle it. Now you've got lots of choice to sprinkle with. You could sprinkle with some sugar glitter, you could sprinkle with any other glitter. You could also sprinkle with the acrylic powder. And for this look, I'm going to do it acrylic powder. But we'll be doing sugar and shiny as well. So I'm just sprinkle it all over. And this is only going to attach to the fresh paint. It's not going to attach to the shiny top coat because it's a no wipe top gel. And then cook it in. Okay, what else we've got in here? So this one to do the jumper as well. This one is ready, we can top coat it. And this one needs a part too. So no, let's do it. So I don't have to swap the brush quickly. I'm just going to paint the jumper here as well. I actually love doing Christmas nails. I think people tend to go um, more designs, like, you know, they cannot wear, um, we even today, like we had some lady, she just booked in her Christmas appointment and she, through the entire year, she wears plain nails, like no color over them, nothing. And then for Christmas time, she wants color. So quite a lot of actually clients go for those Neil Arts when it comes to Christmas. A 
Okay, do not do not rush. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm sometimes like, like I don't want to rush with the designs because you know yourself. Like if you do not rush, and they come up much prettier. But at the same time, I'm feeling like no, you are taking too long time. They are just bored. <laughs> so I will rush this thing up. <laughs> I do not rush on the clients. Uh, I want them to have nice and pretty nails. Okay, so, and the reason why I wanted to show you, uh, I don't this jumper is because otherwise I will have to clean the brush. So that would be a, sorry cameraman, I should do it opposite way. So I'm sprinkling it properly twice, dab it in to remove the excess and then put it to my oven. <laughs> okay, next part. So now I can clean my brush from the white, pick up the black, so pick up the black and clean my brush in the black, otherwise I will have gray, that's it. You can see it when I'm cleaning, I'm not going like this. I'm kind of dragging my brush so it still has those nice point. And then we are picking up black and I'm going to outline it the check. As I say, you don't have to do it as complex like you. you don't have to outline it. You don't have to color the squares. Um, I just wanted to show you, as usual, different options and possibilities. I just feel it looks more finished, more neat. And to be really fussy, I'm going to touch up this missing corner with the red because otherwise it will annoy me. So clean my brush quickly, grab a touch of this red, clean a brush in the red, and just touch up those edges, pick it in. Okay, top coat over this one. Sometimes I think like we should do some and glitter in there. I will just leave it for the next designs. Hi, Shai, no wipe top gel. I've got actually two because one is almost end. <laughs> I need to put it on the side. <laughs> this is so Christmassy set. A little bit of everything in there. it in. Okay, sugar, where are you? Here. So I can clean this sugar off. And I, as you can see it, guys, like we've got some matte jumper look and then shiny underneath. You could do it all matte as well. So this one goes in here. On our check it look, we need to apply the shiny top coat. And then we will be able to do the part two of this design.
Okay, cook it in. This one is ready. I think white and red always looks so pretty together for Christmas. But I still don't know what I want on my nails for Christmas. <laughs> I'll need to think something special. Like really special. Okay, this one is ready. Candy nail. Ideally, you don't want to touch your top coat before it cools down, so it's nice and shiny. That's why I'm always struggling putting the tips under uh, on the display case. Okay, and now the white fan. So let me take away my brushes from the from the light. Clean my brush. Pick up some white. Clean it. Okay, roll it well so I can paint nice and thin line. And this time I'm going to go here. So again, I'm picking up the ugly space. This part is quite nice. This part I don't like it and that's why I have picked it. And now I liken it because it hides the imperfection. Okay, then pick up ugly place. Here. And then we are going to paint some simple bowl, like really simple bowl. So I usually paint a bowl as a love heart. <laughs> Then give it a twist in here. So I'm cleaning my brush so it's more bendy. Like if you've got lots of product on your brush, the brush doesn't behave nice. So I have removed the excess of the product. And now this way it is going to be easier for me to paint the swirl. Okay, so if you're struggling painting the swirls, as you've got maybe too much product on your brush. Dotting tool. Okay, so let's search ugly place. Here is ugly place. Hide it. Another ugly place. Here, hide it. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, so pretty. Then sprinkle it with the acrylic powder as well. I actually feel now like I should put something black as well, like a one new with the black and then white snowflake over it. Gosh, too many, like too many ideas for a Christmas and you want to show as much as possible. Um, I think I will be playing with all those tips and do a mix and match so uh, you could just, sorry, I'm doing, there we are cameraman, sorry. So I'm just sprinkle it properly, dab it in and cook it well. But what I wanted to say is like, 
we could mix them and match. So like I have also done some other set. So here we could do, we could put this red here instead of white and it will be still Christmassy set. Or I could bring this one and I could do like this. So that's what I love about the Christmas time. You can just really um, play with them. They really reach news and, and everything is allowed on them. Like totally everything. And we will be also doing some other colors Christmas news as well, because it's not only the uh, red and white. Uh, I'll be doing some purples, pinks, gems. Uh, so lots of different, different things for you. Uh, so if you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. And also if you have enjoyed this, uh, I would still say simple um, design. Like, I mean, I have shown you actually quite a few different techniques. So I'm just removing those excess and it looks nice and sugary. Let's put it there. You can see it, you could just paint the nails simple red and only on the ring finger you could do the uh, jumper or you could only do the candy or you could uh, do the um, Christmas present with some checkered uh, wrapping, wrapping paper and a snowflakes. That's how I would call this, uh, this design. Uh, but yeah, just, just to keep you, uh, give you all those different ideas. I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye.